And what I want to tell you today is that when you're praying for healing in your own life, don't lose sight of God's love. Sickness, any kind of sickness that you're going through doesn't mean that God is mad at you. It doesn't mean that God does, doesn't love you. It doesn't mean that you've done something wrong or necessarily committed some terrible sin. See, sickness is a part of living in a broken world. We have pathology. We have sickness in our world because it's a broken world. We're waiting for Jesus to return again and make all things new. And that's going to be an amazing time. We could talk about that in a message in the future. But we're living right now in a broken world. And with a broken world, we have broken people and broken, uh, f- broken systems, including our physical bodies. They break down. And so just because you're sick doesn't mean that God is mad at you. Just because you have a problem of some kind of pain in your life doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. In fact, God isn't mad at you. God loves you. He wants to demonstrate his power in and through you, including his healing power. John chapter 9, verses 1 through 3. As he, Jesus, was walking along, he saw a man blind from birth. So this is an ailment. He can't see. He is blind. He needs healing. Master, notice this, his disciples ask him, why was this man born blind? Notice the question. Was it a result of his own sins or those of his parents? And notice the disciples. They're quite concerned that this, this issue, this problem, this blindness that the man had was a result of his sin or the sin of his parents. Now, it's very important that we listen to what Jesus says because now we have a, a key theological question. Is all sickness caused by our own personal sins or the sins of other people? And the answer in verse 3, neither Jesus answered, but to demonstrate the power of God. 